You're living at a time of extremism, a time of revolution, a time when there's got to be a change. People in power have misused it, and now there has to be a change, and a better world has to be built, and the only way it's going to be built is with extreme methods. And I, for one, will join in with anyone, don't care what color you are, as long as you want to change this miserable condition that exists on this earth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Has history been tampered with? Was there really a dark age? It is common knowledge that the classical age was followed by many centuries of utter stagnation and decline with virtually nothing happening but wars and famine and the destruction of the priceless ancient monuments. Then, during the Renaissance, the classical authors reappear from oblivion, Latin and Greek become resurrected as the intelligentsia esperanto of the Middle Ages, numerous manuscripts reappear from oblivion to be copied, enter wide circulation, and vanish again never to be found. How preposterous would it be to suggest that there were no dark ages to separate the antiquity from the Renaissance, that the Renaissance, was in fact the Renaissance of the Western European culture as we know it. It does contradict everything that we may ever have learned about history. However, new methods offered by empirical statistics and developed by Anatoly Fomenko, the Russian mathematician, and his colleagues, provide plenty of evidence to support the theory that the dark ages are a phantom. We find lots of spicy morsels in the cauldron of history, and some of them are impossible to digest without soothing explanations that all the contradictions we encounter are to be blamed on the ignorance of the scribes or some such phenomena inherent in the murky past. Fancy the statue of Marcus Aurelius lost for several centuries and then found by accident, on one of the Roman streets, or senators congregating amongst the ruins of the capital due to their being nostalgic about the great imperial past of the empire, or the pagan temples turning Christian at the wink of an eye with the name of the saint coinciding with the name of the pagan deities that these very temples were consecrated to in the mysterious days of yore. History. Fiction or science. Challenge to traditional history. Is it possible that ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during Renaissance? Can it be that Jesus Christ was born in 1053 AD and crucified in 1086 AD? Scientific research points to the evidence that many modern beliefs of traditional history are a sham. History fiction or science, by the eminent mathematician and Natalie Fomenko and his colleagues crowns 30 years of meticulous and extensive research. It is the first volume in seven comprising a chronology, that exposes numerous questionable notions of traditional history. History, fiction or science, describes how the contemporary chronological scale was created and by whom, with the culprits named as the 16th-17th century clergy. The well-known model of history has enjoyed the relentless attention of prominent critics ever since its creation including respected people like Sir Isaac Newton and Jean Hardouin, the court librarian of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France, and Natalie Fomenko dissects every historical age scrupulously and analyzes the data from every angle imaginable. Roman and Egyptian chronology take a good beating. Poggio Rassiolini and Petrarch take the blame for creating the beautiful legend of a mythical classical age that never was. The biblical events are brought a lot closer to us both historically and geographically. The biblical Jerusalem is actually the medieval city of Constantinople. The New and the Old Testament swap their positions in chronological order and are shown to refer to medieval events. Using astronomy and statistics to back his theories, Fomenko delivers an abundant astronomical proof showing that the identified dates of ancient eclipses are blatantly untrue. Fomenko explains the confusion between the Antiquity and the Middle Ages and how the division between the two is merely imaginary. The book contains in-depth descriptions of the research methods used as well as the most meticulous rendition of the global chronological map with its numerous errors and glitches explained in a very level-headed manner. One doesn't have to be a mathematician to comprehend Fomenko's presentation. History, fiction or science, transforms history from fiction into a rocket science. It is a must-read for everyone who isn't entirely indifferent to human history and possibly also for those who are.